Over time, the anti-backlash nut on the x-axis lead screw can degrade and leave a black residue in the grease on the screw. This debris can cause the light processing unit housing to stall or generate noise during printing. Use this guide to clean and lubricate the x-axis lead screw on a Form 3. If this video helps you solve your printer's issue, please like the video and thanks for watching. Remove the build platform first to avoid dripping resin into the printer cavity. Remove the resin cartridge and close the vent cap to prevent resin from dripping off the bite valve and into the printer. Remove the resin tank, place it in the tank case, cover it and set it aside. Disconnect the power cable before continuing with maintenance. Do not perform maintenance on the printer while it is connected to power. Clear a workspace around your printer. To clean the lead screw, use the Form 3 X-axis cleaning kit from our web store or print the cleaning tool yourself. Links to our web store and the file are available in the video description. To reduce LPU movement during printing, print the tool as close to the mixer side of the build area as possible. Gently wipe down the X-axis lead screw with a dry paper towel. Seat one half of the lead screw thread cleaning tool on the threads on the left side of the X-axis lead screw. Snap the other half of the tool onto the first half, fully enclosing the lead screw. The tool should snap closed without significant resistance and should spin freely on the lead screw. When installed correctly, the arrow on the tool points to the right. Rotate the top of the thread cleaning tool towards the front of the printer. The thread cleaning tool moves along the X-axis lead screw towards the right of the printer. Continue rotating the thread cleaning tool until it reaches the LPU housing at the right end of the X-axis lead screw. Unclip the lead screw thread cleaning tool. Remove the tool from the printer cavity. Gently wipe down the X-axis lead screw with a dry paper towel. We will now apply lubricant to the lead screw. Note that lithium-based grease may cause skin irritation or an allergic skin reaction. Wear gloves when applying grease to the X-axis lead screw. Remove the provided applicator from its packaging. In some regions, the applicator comes with a bead of grease pre-applied. If you have purchased your own lithium-based grease, place a small amount of grease on an applicator such as a tongue depressor or paint stirrer. Using the applicator, spread the grease along the X-axis lead screw. Close the printer cover and connect the power cable to the printer and power supply. The printer will initialize and the LPU housing will move along the X-axis lead screw. This will further spread the grease along the lead screw. Ensure that the LPU housing moves smoothly without making noise or stalling. Insert any missing consumables and upload and start a print. Check that the print starts normally and that the parts print successfully. Contact Formlab support or your authorized reseller to share the results of the procedure. Did this video help you get printing again? If so, please leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. What video do you want to see next? Leave a comment telling us more.